Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're taking a look at Character Creator add-on for Blender. So we already know that Character Creator is one of the best tools out there for creating stylized and also 3D models that you can use as both realistic and non-realistic models for your 3D animation. Now the folks at Relution have also created iClone 7 which is also a real-time 3D animation software and they also have a lot and a lot of 3D related tools that you can benefit from. Now what they've done is they've created an add-on that can help you move all of your 3d models and bring them over to blender without losing touch of the workflow so how this one works is extremely simple for you to get started with this you need to go over to the link which i'm going to put in the description that'll bring you right here where you can download the add-on and also see some amazing things that you can do so things that you can now move from character creator or iclone over to blender includes things like hair assets lighting presets physics for clothing and so much more so in all the cases there's also a couple of problems that most people have run into while trying to bring things into blender from character creator and this add-on actually fixes it now for those who would like to get the add-on i'm also going to put this link in the description that will take you over to the github where you can download this and it's quite impressive to see that the folks at relution are constantly updating this as you would notice that this was updated about two days ago and with this said let's dive directly into character creator and also blender to take a look at how this actually works so with character creator open right here you would notice that we have a 3d model that we've actually made so this is very very interesting to see so basically what we did was just add the smart hair and you can also notice that once you download character creator right now you have a couple of free smart hairs that you can work with and they're all right here for you to grab so we have the smart hairs and we've actually gone through to work with them and there's also this very interesting skin generator that you can also work with so the folks at Relution have also created the skin gen and it's a beautiful tool so what we've done is we've gone through to add the death 01 onto the model and you can also see this in action so this looks very very nice now at any point you want to make tweaks to your model you can always always tweak your model so if you go over to the actor section you can make a whole lot of tweaks you know tweaks from facial all the way to body depending on what you want all the tweaks are right here and you can take advantage of all of them and fix this so once this is ready you can now proceed to export your model and to export this you need to go over to file export fbx clothed and then you need to specify that the exported target is blender make sure that you select the texture size that is appropriate for you so you can go from 256 all the way to 4k and in most cases i would suggest that you set this as current pose so once this is ready hit on export and then get this over to blender so with blender simply open right here what you need to do is you need to go over to edit once you have the add-on downloaded go over to preference and then install the add-on so the add-on, once you install it, is going to be specified as CC3 tools. And um, this is basically all you need. So with this ready, you can now press N on the keyboard and you notice that we have the CC3 add-on. So within this section, if you like to import lighting, you can also turn this on. So what this does is it imports the lighting that exists with character creator or, you know, the lighting from character creator imports it right here. And you can actually get exactly what you have from Revolution Character Creator right here in Blender. So the next logical thing to do is hit on import characters and then search for the character that you've actually exported and import that character right here. So with the model loaded in, you would notice that we have exactly the same lighting that we have in Revolution Character Creator. So this is pretty nice. I mean, compared to what you have in your default Blender, this looks good. And you can also see that we have some things going in here. So you can import morphs, you can export morphs, you can import your assets accessories you can export these things out you can also remove the character if you don't want to start deleting things one by one you know you just want to completely remove the character this does that for you so you can save up that time and some other beautiful thing that you can do with this is in terms of the building if you go over to building settings you can choose to play with how the material looks so in most cases once you import your textures from character creator right here you know you get those black artifacts and you don't know how to deal with them you can simply use the rebuild advanced material and it's going to fix them it's an that is extremely lovely to have now if you also go all the way down to where we have the material parameters this is where everything actually looks even way better so in terms of how you can deal with the model let's say in this case you would like to play with the eyes and you might want to make the iris a bit bigger or smaller you can do that so you can make it bigger you can make it smaller you can play with the hue and this is very nice instead of going over to your shader editor and start tweaking this this saves you that time so you can actually focus on the things that matters and you can also select the model itself you can play with how you want the SSS to look like you can play with the SSS fall off you can do 
anything that you want now for the hair as well there is a huge huge advantage with owning this particular add-on as instead of going you know tweaking these things and coming back you can actually make changes so i could say i would like this to be a bit more popularish maybe a bit purple like so and then maybe i would like this other one to be green and with that ready i can increase the strand global strength and we start getting this all right so this is directly on your viewport so you can do this right here directly in blender and uh it's Saves you that time of going back and forth making the tweaks and coming back so you can do basically anything that you want now there's this thing that i do know that lots of people have issues with why working with character creator now we've talked about this one before but i do know that lots of you guys still have this problem and that is opening your character's mouth so in most cases to open a character's mouth becomes a big problem and how you can do that is super easy right here there's a parameter for that and all you need to do is click and drag and you can open your character's mouth however you want and and this is going to save you time of going over to your blend shape and tweaking those blend shape and trying to get the best out of it this saves you that time as you can easily do these things right here so we've already talked about some of the cool tweaks that you can do with this but then if you go all the way down you notice that we have scene tools now within your scene tools you can change the lighting of your scene how you want them to be so if you need like the solid matte cap you have it right there if you need like your default blender this is what you get once you import your models in and uh, this doesn't look so cool but if you need the CC default lighting you're going to get that if you need like a studio right lighting you also be able to get this so you can see that and for sure if you also need like the courtyard left lighting you can also get this and all of these lightings are things that you can tweak and you can use them to your advantage and also do some very impressive things with them so depending on what you're trying to create these things would come in very very handy now there is also something else that you can now do with this add-on that i think will make it even what you while and that is importing animations but before we talk about how you can import animations and all that stuff once you bring your model in here and you press your playback button what this is doing is the relation character creator add-on is actually playing back this sort of uh, animation so that you will be able to tell what your deformations would look like when you're animating your model so this is very 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 nice but then what if you like to import motions or maybe you like to import poses now for you to import poses actually very simple so if you go over to character creator and you like to import a particular pose you can proceed to actually state that pose and import it so if we go over to female pose we can actually just get a pose like this and just double click that to get the model in that pose and you can see it right here so we can actually proceed to get a pose like this and the very same way you exported your model earlier is also how you can do that so you go over to file go over to export export as fbx set this as current pose and that is it export and then once you open up blender you can also re-import that model in and you get everything that you want so let's talk about animation now if you want to use this for animation you need to go over to character create Creator, finish up the model however you want it to be and then you can send it off to iClone send this over to iClone where we can add some clothing and also some animation so to send this to iClone you can simply go over to your file go over to export and then you can send character to iClone or you can simply click on this tiny button that sends it directly to iClone so once you hit that button it sends it directly to iClone open up your iClone receive the data in and then you can start doing some amazing stuff so with this model here the next which we need to do is to clothe the model so to clothe the model we need to go over to where we have actors go over to the body part cc clothing dress double click this to load the cloth in and then if we go in and click on the animation section we can also find some cool motions that we might want to use so we'll go over to motions go over to motion to go over to perform and we have a couple so i'm just going to go ahead and select the model itself so select the model double click the dance and add that right there so if we go in and press the playback button you would notice that we have our character dancing beautiful so once you have this ready the next thing which you need to do is if you will want to make some tweaks you can also go over to where you have your animations let's say you want to add some facial puppeteering uh, stuff you can also proceed to do that so you can do all of that stuff here if you like to do that and also make sure that you record them while doing them if you like to also add some you know motion puppeteering for the whole body you can also set all these things properly and also make sure you turn on your recording to record them while you're doing it now once you're done and everything is ready go over to file go over to export export as fbx and then set a range it's very important you set the range set the target to blender 
and then you can export this now with the model in here you can now see that we have the studio lighting but something that we didn't do was to turn on physics now in case you do that and uh, you, let's say you don't turn on physics that is not a problem as you can select the model go all the way to where you have your physics and then add a clothes physics and then you can select the model itself and add a collision now once you do these two you can now proceed to press the playback button to get these animating now if you don't do this this model is going to animate but then you might only get to have the model itself you know get the cloth following the model by default and not actually simulating and that is how easy it is for you to move your models from character creator over to blender now in any case that you're thinking about weight painting yes you can actually fix that so to fix your weight painting you need to select the model go over to object and then go over to weight paint now it's very impressive to see that the character creator 3 add-on transfers your weight paint from iClone over to blender so you don't necessarily need to go in and start weight painting this as this will do it automatically for you so in this case you can just simply relax press the playback button and watch your animation playback now if you're also thinking about making more tweaks to this you can of course start making tweaks to them let's say you want to make tweaks to the hair for example or let's say you want to make tweaks to the clothing or in this case let's Let's say we want to simply hide the bra and just get this one right here you can also do all of this and get the most out of them and this is more like it for those who like to take a look at this you can actually go over to the github and download this one for free and start working with it and of course for those who like to get the character creator or maybe you want to get the relution bundle that is currently at 50 percent off you can actually go in and check these things out yourself and get started with it now the folks at Revolution are doing some bundled sales right now so just in case you want to save up on the buck and get this at 50% off you can actually go over to the page right now and check these things out for yourself so link to this is going to be in the description and of course you can also notice that they're doing a 50% sale for character creator so once you purchase character creator you will be having the hair tool for blender for free there's also some limited time sales right here so just in case you want to check them out simply go over to link in the description and check these things out for yourself tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification so that you don't miss next video or the next update and i'll see you guys again with your tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace